Hey everybody, Claudine and I'm here, and today I am doing an overview on these dolls called Project MC Squared by MGA Entertainment. I purchased these dolls at Target for $15, and it features four core characters. This is the basic line of dolls. Also, other core dolls have been released featuring a science project. However, these basic dolls, well, I'll get into the overview later. So, looking at the dolls out of box, here they are. And I also have two dolls in box. I will first start by reviewing the dolls out of box, and this one is named Cameron. Cameron has a beanie, saran red hair, a baseball top, as well as jeans. The hair is kind of wavy and a little bit frizzy, however it is saran and it is perfectly fixable. As we can see, the dolls have glass eyes and a seemingly flawless paint on their lips, as well as eye makeup or eyeshadow. Their eyebrows are also painted on. They are posable at the head, the shoulders, and the thigh. They are not posable at the wrist, elbow, or feet, as well as the kneecap. As we can see, this doll includes a beanie, which is striped, and the pants are kind of printed fabric, so it has a bit of a printed material on it. The doll also has rooted eyelashes, as well as very good quality fabric. However, the fabric seams, or the string on the fabric, seems to be kind of bursting off. As we can see, it is a little bit jagged and very clearly um, not cut very well. I don't even know how to word that. Next, over here, we have another character. And each doll has a bit of an ethnicity, as this one appears to be Hispanic, as the back of her box says, Abuela. She includes saran blonde hair, which is long and straight, and goes past her kneecap. She also has a printed cat sweater, as well as printed sea foam colored shorts with a fabric bow, which is pretty good quality for a $15 doll, especially considering they have glass eyes. The rooted eyelashes are also seamlessly placed onto the eye and look very, very well put together. As we can see, much of this material is not printed except for graphics on the t-shirt sweater. Even though she isn't fully articulate, she is still very, very fun to play with and make imaginative stories. The doll also includes heeled sneaker wedges, which are pretty cute as well, with painting detail on them. The hands are stuck in one position where it's kind of curved in, and you can't move it or pose it. Again, the doll is only pivotal at the shoulder, thigh, and head. The only problem I have is that the head is kind of loose when you shake it, which is very fearsome considering it could fall off. And it makes it harder to make videos or stop motions when the head is too wobbly. Now let's get a view of these dolls in box. Here we have Mackenzie, Gallister, and Bryden. Each of them has a quote on their box and a picture of the actress who will be playing them in the miniseries. So as we can see it's Bryden Bandwidth and Michaela McAllister. Part of the Project MC Squared dolls, and it also features MGA's logo. The box is pretty good quality, however, when I purchased them from the store, the boxes were pretty much crushed up. The box also features some hexagons on the side, which appear to be mathematic or scientific, and also paper, so the box looks like paper, however, it is not actual paper, of course. And it just gives it that whole schoolgirl look. So as we can see, the sides of the boxes are binders, and it shows different classes that you could be taking, like math, art, literature, engineering, and more. 
On the back of each of the box, it says their name, a profile picture, it has their quote, as well as a bio and likes slash dislikes list. On the bottom, it also shows all four of the core girls from Project MC Squared. You can also check out their website at projectmc2.com or projectmcsquared.com. On the other side of the box, we see taped together different materials that you would use for school, such as tape, paper, fabric, and more. The back of the box looks as a portfolio, while as the side almost shows the side of a binder. Bryden likes computers, so the side of her box shows a computer chip. Here's Mackenzie and Bryden D box, and before I forget, each doll also includes a cone. The cone is shaped like a beaker and has the logo Project MC Squared on it, and of course can be used as a comb or hairbrush on the doll's hair. Each doll does have saran hair and its own original style. For example, Mackenzie has very wavy, poofy hair, whereas Bryden has very crimped hair. Thanks for watching my review on the Project MC Squared Dolls by MGA. Again, you can get them at Target for $15, and there's other lines of dolls which may be a bit more costly. Enjoy some photos of the dolls, and don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. Thanks for 100,000 subscribers! Couldn't have done it without all of you.